so that it is ready to go for our laser cutting. So we're going to want this and this shape. To select multiple objects, you'll hold down shift and then use your left click. That will select multiple objects at once. And we are going to adjust this so that it is red. Our laser cutter will read red lines as things to be cut. So right now this is our layers menu, however we want to be our properties menu. So you can work in different layers if you want. So if you have the foresight to put, you know, your cut objects on your red layer, etc., or you can just control them one by one, which is what I prefer to do. I'm going to change my display color to custom. Click on this little box. Uh, you may get this one with the color wheel, or you may get the ones with the crayons. However, you're going to want to try and just do the one with the boxes and select red. See, now our lines are red. Another thing you have to do is uh, select all of your text and make sure the print width is hairline. That's the line width that our printers understand, our laser cutters understand the best, so make sure it's selected. Um, we're going to select our text now. Remember how it's grouped? Oh, it's not grouped. So see, it's not grouped, and that means I have to click on each one of these curves. Very annoying. So what we can do is we can drag a box over it to select all of it, and we're going to do command group. So that way, now I can just, you know, click on this, and I don't have to select all of it every time. So we're going to select this, and we're going to have the laser cutter burn in all the insides of these letters here with the raster ability. So to make really good looking raster text, you will select your text curves, and you will make them blue. Our laser understands blue to be etched lines, so they will just be etched in, but not cut all the way through. The difference between, you know, you'll see. So now we have blue lines, and we're going to fill this in with black so that the inside is all cut out. So we're going to do the command hatch. Hatch will give us a lot of different patterns if you load standard hatch patterns. Uh, so each one of these patterns can be textured in. However, we're just going to do the solid right now. But you can see what the other ones look like and adjust their scale and such. But we're just doing solid. So hit OK. So now you'll see we have blue outline in our black fill text. The difference between blue and black is that black can fill in a large field of uh, an object. However, the blue is just a line, a single line width. So now our file will be ready to go and laser cut.